After 18 months of talking to a camera, I miss eye contact. I'm Julie Holcomb, one of the Circle Co pastors, and I'm here making this video to connect with you. Um, and I'm thinking about eye contact because Robert, who gave a talk on Sunday at our at home Sunday meeting, um, pointed out the obvious that at on, on Zoom, you can either look at the camera or you can look at the screen, but you can't actually directly look into each other's eyes. And um, eye contact is important. It does a lot for us as human beings. There's a lot of brain science that explains that it activates the part of our brain that um, feels, that, that triggers our emotions, um, that stimulates our empathy, our ability to feel with and for one another. Um, it helps us to know that people are actually listening to us when, they, when they're looking at us. As a parent, I always want my kids to look at me so I know they hear what I'm saying. And um, after such a long time of communicating through a screen, it, it has to be related to a sense of loneliness and emptiness that we all inevitably feel at times. So um, I wanted to share this psalm with you. Psalm 33 talks about how the eyes of the Lord are upon you. Think about that for a minute. The eyes of the Lord are upon you. On all those who fear him, on those who put their hope in his unfailing love to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. When we are starving for to be seen when we don't feel like we're seen by others. The eyes of the Lord are on us. We wait for hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. That prayer stayed with me this week and I wanted to share it with you. And I was thinking about how we put our hope in the Lord together. So when you're feeling parched, when you're feeling um, hungry for to be seen and known, the eyes of the Lord are on you. The Lord knows you. The Lord sees you, your pain and your hunger. And um, we want to see and know you too. That's why I'm here making this video. That's why we gather on Sundays in person and online. We gather throughout the week in person and online to make time and space for that kind of real connection because we want to help each other know and feel God's presence by knowing and feeling the presence of each other. So even with the barriers of a screen and the difficulties of Zoom, um, it somehow miraculously is possible to sense the eyes of the Lord upon us and to feel that kind of connection. Um, so I hope you can pray that prayer with me this week. We wait in hope for the Lord whose eyes are always upon us.